X-Men Origins Wolverine was a pretty terrible film. We know this, that there were some weird ass choices and decisions put in there. Obviously, it's got to have something to do with studio interference. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But the video game that was released on everything known to man at the time, PC, Nintendo DS and Nintendo Wii, mobile phones, Xbox 360, PlayStation 2 and 3, PSP. That g this game is awesome. This game is just what the movie should have been. It's gory. It's insane. It's just... Um, well, it's just a damn good, uh, damn good video game. Now, of course... Uh, certain elements of the game are not all great. The game did release to fairly positive reviews when it was released in 2009. And uh, this was developed by Raven Software <coughs> for the PS3 and Xbox 360 and PC versions. This is the Xbox 360 version. And between you and me, um, if you have a PC, um, you, can, um, you, you, can, you can play a, a backup of it if you so wish. This may or may not be how I'm doing it. You never know, so if there's any stutters or anything, just know that this is not entirely captured off of the Xbox 360, but um, you didn't hear that from me, so just, just so you are aware. Um, but this game is just balls to the wall insane. You get to unlock some pretty cool movesets for Wolverine. Now, of course, it's voiced by Hugh Jackman, and, most, uh, and obviously it looks like Hugh Jackman, and you get to, uh, you get to partake in a couple of things that are similar to the movie, but apart from that, it's just a lot better. This uh, this game is what the movie should have been. Gory, brutal, and well, basically just a lot more interesting. And essentially, this game is at its best when it lets you go absolutely nuts and just lunge around and slice people up. That is when this game is at its absolute peak. There are moments where there are stealth, there are moments, there's like a section on the uh, second or third level where you get your uh, healing factor taken away from you, um, which is lame, because the, the cool thing about your health in this, in this video game is you get shot to absolute shit, and then you just have to wait for your healing factor to come back up and, and uh, you know, to, to heal you, and you get to see that on Hugh Jackman. Obviously it's a bit weird because his vest also heals back too, which is a bit bizarre, but I'm, <coughs> I, I'm hoping that uh, Insomniac Games, I think it's Insomniac that's doing the, the PlayStation 5 Wolverine game, I'm hoping they've taken some notes from this X-Men Origins Wolverine game on how to do it. We need to be unleashed, we need to be slashing people up, there needs to be gore. If you have got adamantium claws, you want to be able to cause some damage and do some absolute annihilating. So hopefully we get to do that with also a bit of stealth as well, just like this game employs. Now there is a, uh, also a rage meter, so you can go, uh, you can activate that when your rage meter is built up. You gain experience points, and you can put them into uh, improving uh, light attacks and heavy attacks, and uh, like prolonging effects of other attacks as well, which is pretty cool. So you gain experience points. So that's pretty nifty. There are collectibles to find uh, around the levels as well, if you so wish to do that. <clears throat> there's just a, there's just a lot in this game. Now, I, I'll be honest, I played a, the first level back in the day. I didn't really give it too much time. But in thinking about it not so long ago, um, I, I, I just thought, hey, I, I'm going to play through the Wolverine X-Men Origins Wolverine game. And uh, and that's what I did, and I pretty much played through the entirety of it in two sessions, which was um, a lot of fun. I had a great time with it. But like I said, the moments where it takes all the influence from God of War and Devil May Cry like it does, um, and you can just go insane and just cause havoc, that is pretty. That is where the game is at its peak. There are some bosses and some bigger enemies, but they're pretty much taken down the same way. Uh, the game is not 100% perfect, but it's just... It's just what the movie should have been. Um, I'm recently, uh, I've, I've recently decided to rewatch all of the X-Men movies and X-Men related movies like Deadpool and New Mutants and whatnot. Um, but I'm not going to be watching X-Men Origins Wolverine, so I'm going to have reviews for all the X-Men movies coming up. But I am not watching X-Men Origins Wolverine because I, in my mind, I, I block that out and I don't consider that one canon because <coughs> um, I just don't. Um, but this game is really, really cool. I highly suggest playing it if you're a video game collector and you have a 360 or PlayStation 3 or... The, I mean, to be honest, the PC, Play, the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game are the better ones. Um, 
The PS2 one's fine, I'd say, and the Wii one is fine, but let's be honest, the Wii stuff looked like a potato on it anyway. But, um, yeah, just get in there, turn your brain off, and just hack and slash as Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. And you'll be saying to yourself, why was the movie not like this? That's all I kept thinking to myself, is this is better than the freaking movie. Um, but please let me know in the comments down below, have you played this game, have you checked it out? And as always, thank you very much for watching. The operation was a success, but he can't be trusted. We have his DNA for Weapon 11. Terminate him.